Okay, so let's look at investments, what that word means, shadow banks, and 7%, why that's a magical number. So investments, taking part in a business or with others with the expectation of making profit. So you've sent your one pound into a business, into a venture, into a share, into something, into a box, and out, and out comes two pounds. That's the idea. I'm going to allocate a pound with the expectation of getting two pounds back, or one pound fifty, one pound ten, depending on the interest. Interest, that's it. Ten percent, for example. So you put one pound in, one pound in, and get one pound ten back. How cool is that? How cool is that? Yes, uh, taking part in business. Business or an investment or venture. A venture. So a new company is starting up. A new company has started up. Or an investment. So let's say shares or ETF or maybe even bonds and beyond. How cool is that? Now, shadow banks, when institutions like banks or companies do banking activities between themselves anonymously or with less regulation oversight. So they can buy and sell shares among themselves and no one's ever going to know. No one will know what happened. No one's going to know. So let's say there's a pool of money here. A pool of money, which is liquidity. There's a bank here, and a bank there, an institution here. And they'll go into this pool of money, and buy and sell the shares, for example. And so will other people be in that pool of money. They'll be buying and selling. Buying and selling. But you won't know who's who. It'll be anonymous. Anonymous, like with masks. You don't know who is who. Who's that? Who's this? Who said that? Who are you? So people will go out. So they'll have a share here. They'll sell the share. And then suddenly it'll be on somebody else's balance sheet. So it isn't truly anonymous. Because you can look at the company's statements. Every financial year. And you can see by means of deduction, who bought what. Where did this money come from, for example? Where did these shares come from, for example? Yeah, yeah. how cool is that? And 7%. When a government has to pay more than 7% to borrow, then it is believed to be, it is believed it will default. So, when the interest payment, payment, Mm, is greater than 7% of GDP. Oh, no, no. When the interest payment uh, has an interest, uh, has a has a has a 7% price, has a 7% cost, then the debt can snowball out of control. That's a 7%. It will snowball, snowball, out of control. Snowball out of control. When it's 7%, that cost is too much. Crazy mathematics behind it. And it says that the country cannot service, cannot pay that 7% interest. So the chances of them going to default is believed to be quite high. But only the future can tell. And with interest rates right now in the United Kingdom, 0 0.1, I believe, we're a long way from that. And what, what is it in the States? I'm not too sure. I'm guessing it's 0 0.17. I'm, I'm really, really not too sure. But um, there is no way. Well, well, I'll let you think about that one, but... The interest payments are going. Mm. They're low for a reason. The interest is very low for a reason. Let's put it that way. 
how cool is that language explorers let's keep exploring